So this is a right triangle, and we have drawn an altitude that starts at the right angle vertex and goes to the hypotenuse. So this ties into lesson 8.1, and in this video I want to show you how to find the values x, y, z using the geometric means. Now what we have here is because we've drawn this altitude, we have two additional right triangles, making a total of three. And all three right triangles are similar to each other. So the way that it works is the altitude here, 8. 8 is the geometric mean of 2 and y. 2 and y. So that means I come over here and I write the following equation. 8 squared is 2 times y. So 64 is 2 times y, and so now I know y. y is 32. So now I know the value of y is 32. Now the way that this works for the legs, x is the geometric mean of 2 and the entire hypotenuse, 2 plus y. So let me say that again x is the geometric mean of 2 and 2 plus y. Well, I know that y is 32, so 2 plus 32 is 34. And that means, I write the equation, x squared equals 2 times 34. So x squared is 68. Take the positive square root, x is the square root of 68, and 68 is 4 times 17, and the square root of 4 is 2. So simplest radical form, x is 2 square roots of 17. Now it's time to find z. z is the geometric mean of y and the entire hypotenuse, 2 plus y. 32 plus 2 is still 34, so z is the geometric mean of 32 times 34. So z squared equals 32 times 34. And what I could have done here is I could have multiplied 32 and 34, and that would have given me a rather large number. Instead, what I did was I took the positive square root of both sides, which allows me to take the square root of 32 and 34 separately. So I'm actually making life easier by doing this. Now 32 is 16 times 2, and the square root of 16 is 4. So that reduces to 4 square roots of 2. 34 breaks down into 2 times 17, but that's as far as it goes. So I multiply the 2 and the 34 and I get 68. But we just did the square root of 68. It was 2 square roots of 17. So now this becomes 4 times 2 square roots of 17, which is 8 square roots of 17. And now I have z. And so that's how you take a triangle like this from lesson 8.1, similarity in right triangles, and you solve for the unknown measures. God bless you, wherever you are today.